All right, we are joined by Reese Odom here in Atlanta. Hi, Reese. Hey. How are you? Doing great, and I'm so happy to be able to talk with you today. I'm glad our schedules finally worked out that we could sync up and do this talk. Yeah, me too. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Sure, sure. So could you just tell everyone a little bit about who you are and what you do? Well, I'm Reese Odom, like you said. Thank you for having me. Sure. <laughs> I um, can be seen on Bounce TV, Saints and Sinners, the CWs. The Vampire Diaries and so many other things. I love being an actress and I love being an actress here in Atlanta. Awesome. Yes, Atlanta is what, number one now yeah. in movie and film production? It's crazy. I mean, I know that the numbers fluctuate, but we, we were said to be number one just recently. So that's really exciting. And being a native of Atlanta and to be able to do what I love here in my city means a lot to me because I live in L.A., but to be home means a lot to be near my family. Not only that, I mean, with all the work here, that's yeah. a, even a bigger plus for being in Atlanta. Oh, no, absolutely. That's what I said, to be able to do what I love at the level that I'm able to do it here is amazing so yeah okay so would you be able to tell the readers a little bit about what you've done what type of project you've done and what you're actually currently working on I can't say what I'm currently working on because of contract reasons but okay there are a lot of really great things that are about to happen that you'll know about soon and I'm happy and blessed for those things but um, the things I've worked on, like I said, Saints and Sinners, it's a great production and hope to start doing that um, towards the end of the year for th uh, season three. Mm -hmm. um, my role on that is Anita Robinson, an investigative reporter. And so I'm excited about her because she's, she's really kind of in there doing some really crazy things to, to be on the rise within her career. So it's by any means necessary, you know, think about the media. So that's, that's her thing. Okay. And um, I have, an independent film that should you should got you should you guys should be able to see soon I'll say that I know that we're gonna go on the film festival circuit but um, it, it's a big announcement that we're gonna have about the film the last time that was one of the last films that the late great Tommy Ford was a part of He's a mm -hmm. good friend of mine and he did this particular film because it was a good message and it's um, about domestic violence awareness Wow okay so for a new person that may be interested in starting an actor or actress role, what advice would you have for a young person that's interested in becoming an a actress one day? To understand that you have to do the work and you have to be self-motivating and um, have a strong faith mm -hmm. and support system because it's not an easy industry. It's not playing. It's a lot of reading, a lot of studying, a lot of... Um, reaching for emotions that you may not be comfortable sharing so you have to be ready to be mm -hmm. exposed if you will right. and um, that's the only way that you're going to bring some type of realness to any character that you that you take on so that's my bit of advice for that but you have to have really good headshots mm -hmm. and get some really good um, acting coaching or take some classes so that you can kind of have that camaraderie with other actors and maybe learn from them Okay, so what's what's been the most rewarding as an actress? Uh, you've been doing this for quite a while now. What would you say uh, the, the your your greatest reward has been? Um, being able to help people through my passion. Okay, um, I've done a couple of films with really great messages and awareness, and um, with from domestic violence to bringing awareness to the fact that minorities don't sign up to be organ and tissue donors as much as we should to help save lives. So I did a film called The Wish with Donate Life America and um, we were able to sign up people at every screening and um, actually help with that number to grow the number of people that are on the list to be donors. And I actually received a proclamation and resolution from the Georgia State Senate for my efforts on that particular film as well. So that was really awesome. Congratulations on that. So are there any actresses that uh, are idols for you? Who do you actually uh, look up to? I have so many, but uh -huh. um, two in particular happen to be sores of ours. Okay. <laughs> that's not why they are, um, although that's a great thing. But Lynn Whitfield and um, Vanessa Bell Calloway have been very... Um, awesome people for me to have worked with and to get advice from and they're so willing to give it it's just it's one of those things where you're in awe of the fact that you're working with 
you know, these legends in right. the business and that they are so willing to give these little nuggets of advice. And I take those things with me everywhere I go and on every project I think about those things and it helps me to be better. So that would be the two that I would name. Okay, yeah, they're true legends indeed. I mean, yeah. you can't get any better than those two. And both working on things still, you know. Yes. You got them. Their career spans so, so wide that I mean, if you go back into, you know, early 90s till now, yes. even the 80s for some of, you know, some of their work. So it's just, it's just amazing to be able to have been in their presence and to get some advice from them. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, Reese, I think um, I have one last question okay. um, for you. What has been, I mean, I know you're talking about the rewards, the good parts of being an actress. What's the downside of acting? Are there any downsides? Oh, absolutely. Just like anything. I mean, you work really hard and you know that you nailed that audition, but mm -hmm. you don't always get the role. Yeah. And yeah. Um, that's why I was saying you have to be self-motivating and have a strong faith because you'll hear more no's than you do yes. Mm -hmm. and, and you'll start to have these moments where you're questioning your reason for doing this or, or if you should do it. Right. And so just don't ever get in that place. If it's truly what you love, then you need to continue to do it. Just never give up. That's right. Self-motivation is key. Yes. All right. Well, it's been so wonderful talking with you today, Reese, and I'm wishing you much more success uh, in your career as an actress. Uh, continue to stay truthful and faithful toward your goals.